I'm here to talk about a plugin I made for uh, the Rhino Grasshopper platform. It does something um, just like I show you here and make a 3D model from a single photo. So what does it mean? It means using AI technology and to analyze the elements inside of a picture and set up a different layers, living with three D different three D layers, and then mark out one by one, then compose them back. What is different to three uh, D scanning? And three D scanning need different angle of photos, but this technique only need one photo. Although it's not that accurate as three D scanning, but it does something the three D scan cannot do. Three D scanning make a replica from a real world so the object must be physical and the second drawback is the output 3d scan output mesh and mesh apology is massive um it's barely possible to modify those models it's not good for designer or creator who are not just copying real world so they need something to modify so i came to an idea not using mesh as a base but using nervous surface as good things about nervous surface is it has a very clean topology and also my output is also a clean nervous surface which means and you can modify that in the way you can understand it. It's not a massive of points and lines. It allows 3D model on any surface you have made. I use the term surface relief to describe that kind of things. There may be a better name because this name sounds very ordinary. Um, Anyway, before I count out the better name, I just call that surface relief. Now I'm going to introducing some basic idea and uh, a work through and some cases. Shall we start it? I start with a empty document. I will build up the whole thing from the ground. Move to the tab surface relief and go to the most right, you will find the icon. And this is the main component. Right click on that and choose all the setup component. It did all the things for you. Is that like magic? And we'll keep doing that and to the most left, that is the place you can select an image file from your local disk. I choose flower picture. After I select that, I read the bitmap and it goes through and down to the end to a display component. So this display component will show the bitmap on the left up corner. Also, we can select and choose the size. And now we move to the main component. You need a surface. It can be any surface. In this demo, I will use a simple one. Okay, this is a component to make a rectangle. And now I put it in size. I will make a 140 long. But I use the interval negative 70 to positive 70. So I will right place the rectangular in the middle. Just like it's showing now. And then we double click the campus and type in surface and link them together. We all have a rectangular flat surface. And then we plug into the surface import. Right now we have a surface with texture and the texture exactly as the bed map. Now we turn on run. Within a second, we have a geometry which look, look like relief. 
Now I turn off the preview. And because those preview are repeated geometry that's showing together and miss your view, I just, I'm hitting them. I left the two components on the right, not hidden. If you see the watermark DM sample, you drag down the license component and the plug into the last import and you will remove the watermark from the result. Now the density, the density is the most key value to balance out the quality and the speed. Right now it's set up to zero. The zero means it's in the auto mode. It will automatically set the number to 1.84. It's calculated inside. But also you can manually change the density. Right now I go to drop density to one. The suggested density 1.84 is according to the size of the surface. And a slightly change GDN value. GDN stands for gradient rate. When it controls the general shape, and the number below it is called CPS, and it controls the details. Sometimes you need a big GND, sometimes it's smaller. It depends on the picture and what kind of um, general form you like. So also I'm going to make the relief deeper. There are two numbers control the height or deep. The first number is dark pixel and controls the height of dark area. And the second one is for bright area. Now I want a black background not move and raise the bright flower. It looks great already. And finally, I put density back to zero. Now we have a relief looks really good. Now I'm going to um, show you some function for texture editing. And the first one is reverse color. You can reverse the black and white pixel. And the second one is called black pixel. You can remove the background for things that you like. And, and the third one is trans, transparent. You make uh, um, the visible, how visible the texture is. If it moves to zero, there is no texture. If you go to the one, it will full color. Usually I prefer move down a little bit, not full color. And next is diffuse, diffuse as its name, diffuse, opacity, and bump. So you can see the bump effect unless you go to the um, render, render the view. You can see the differences. At least the environment, to use the texture as the environment reflection. And last one, the wrong. You can, you can switch the entire texture off. And up to the top, there is a, a material selection. There is some preset material that you can use for a quick checking using at least the zebra. You can check the smoothness. And this is glass. And this is stew. We try to make a mold or something. Back to plastic. If you zoom in, you notice there is something looks not smooth, it's like a zag, zag jacks. And this is because of the preview mesh is low polygon. The actual surface is actually smooth. Generally, you don't need a high quality preview mesh for CNC because it use nervous surface. And high quality mesh take quite a long time to compute. But the renderer and the 3D printing, you might need high polygon mesh. I turn it off for shake up speed. And then we'll see the bottom, there was a bump. So can I fix this? Yes, you can. 
there was a function called the edge lock it will lock the edge to its original position now, any surface of four edges you can lock each of them one by one you can lock the south or west side or in that case i lock all of them if you import one this means true means that edge will be locked okay so that's look good that looks good i do some final adjustment and and it just looks so great as you can see this technology provides more freedom than 3d scanning you can actually control the details and the overall shape now well, i'm going to do some uh, modification is i notice the bottom is too close to the edge so what i can do i use a component and i call it um, edge extend i just turn off the real first so what it does it actually uh, adding the extra distance from on the edge to to the pattern. So run over with the bottom a bit. So I increase about through point one two. It looks nice and good. And I turn on the rail lift. It looks good. Great. Fantastic. Now I'm going to compare AI to displacement map. Displacement map is using um, the pixel brightness value to move the vertices up and down. But right now, turn off the AI function and become a dis displacement. And we found displacement is always go the top smaller than the bottom is because it's only moved the vertices up and down so it can make the things top larger than the bottom but ai does so what ai do is they actually rebuild the whole surface and keep those features detect in this case i will change some parameters so back to the one so the density and change the GDN. So GDN is control the general shape. So we're going to make the shape like a multi-layer tubes. I know what this van. Yeah, it looks so it's so real. I don't know how to do this manually. AI just did a second. We just see the magic happen. We got a flat image right now. I don't type wrong. I just wait a little bit. Okay, 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 we got, got. We got multi layer. We got a multi layer. Yes, yeah, so, so that's the magic. I would say it's really magic. Uh, this one is how you make a flat image, a flat back and white image to bow like structure. I turn down to one again, and then magic happens. The first time I saw that, I, I can't believe my eyes. Look these petals. I don't expect these honestly. Uh, AI just sometimes surprising people. A picture. So this picture is a photo from microscope. It was lots, lots of detail. I will do some gymnasium. So the first I'm going to move the general shape down to the um, point four.
and raise up. And general shape looks good. Then I just back to zero. Boom. We have an alien sight. Look at that. We zoom in to see the details, how rich the detail is. Now someone may ask, what if you do a normal things? I, I don't want this crazy stuff. Like <laughs> it looks so crazy. It's not like one. I want the, the top is flat. Okay, all you need to do is to change this DPS value to the zero. And you will have an ordinary. An ordinary flat top. With clean cut, slick, smooth, and no extra bump. Perfect. Okay. I think this is today's tutorial. And next time I will talk about other settings uh, and uh, also other components. See you next time.